you charge your personal training. We're going to share with you right now what you can do. When someone puts you in a guillotine, headlocked on the front. Step one, you're going to pull in to get your air. You can also use your thumb as a lock. Two, take your hand straight through. This helps guide your body through. As you step up, you actually have a lock right here. It's very painful. Here, you can take them into a lock to the ground or step out and just raise them. Your choice. Detroit Urban Survival Training, sharing with you intelligent options to increase your survivability. So, what the guy did was he had his hand right here, right? Really the pressure off your neck. Okay, that makes sense, right? And then he shot his hand underneath through this space right here. Now, if you think somebody's going to let you get their arm all the way through like that, with that level of ease, you're probably retarded. But the thing that he did do that kind of makes sense is the peek out thing. But you have to do that a lot sooner. Like as soon as you feel somebody wrapping around your neck, you have to start posturing up. Otherwise, if you get bent over into this, this position, you are a lot weaker. You can't get your hips underneath you as easily. You still can, especially if you're reasonably strong. But if you're being attacked, you're probably being attacked by somebody stronger. So that's probably not going to work. <laughs> so if somebody does put, start to put their arm around your head, you just feel it touching the back of your neck. Start getting your hips underneath you right then. But also, don't expose your back when you do this. When you peek out, turn towards them immediately. You'll see it in wrestling all the time. So, like I said, yes, but no. There are some seeds of truth here, but there are a lot better ways to apply them.